Hi, Elena. Hi. Hi. Um, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you are stylish always. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So today, in this video, I want to ask you about your life in Japan. Okay. Yeah. So you lived in Japan for a long time. Uh, several times, mm. not always for long, but so yeah. at first you came to Japan when you were high school student. Yes. In Kobe. Uh, in Hyogo Prefecture. Ah, in Hyogo Prefecture. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's like a exchange student. Uh, yeah, like uh, we had a, how you say, um, agreement with a Japanese high school since like many many years and every two years like uh, some students from my high school can go to Japan for one month to our sister school and then the next year they can come visit us so every two years like it's a mutual exchange one month one month oh. how was it it was nice <laughs> <laughs> a bit like an alien feeling but yeah. because um, other students are all Japanese um, yes, and I don't know, like, it's, I mean, like, students from our high school, they come there every two years, and they go visit us as well, but, um, yeah, sometimes we had, like, people, like, kind of stalking you around the hallways. It's a man? Oh, just or students, like, it doesn't even only have to be guys. It's, it's just funny. Oh, because you are very cute. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just, like, uh, you know, strange. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy the stay? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could speak Japanese at the um, time? I could communicate, but obviously I wasn't fluent. So like when we had chemistry class, like my teacher obviously don't know the Japanese terms for like, a, you know, um, professional or like the, how you say, professional terms for like, a, certain words <laughs> in um, class so like my teacher would give me like the Latin writing of like uh, certain words and obviously Latin is not English so <laughs> it didn't help me much but I really appreciate the effort you made so <laughs> it was yeah, nice. It's very interesting. Usually the classes were in Japanese. And, like, just normal classes. In, yeah. Then you went back to Germany. Yes. Uh, so after that, you came to Japan as an intern. Uh, I think I went to visit my friends before one time, but um, in the first time, high school was in 2014. And I think then the other time I came in 2018 for an internship. Where did you work? I worked at the German Chamber of Commerce. I mean, like my German university wanted me to uh, do an internship for half a year because German universities really focus on like you need work experience or we can't release you into like the working adult world. So it's mandatory. And um, I've been to Japan for one month. I did, lived in France for a year in high school, did an exchange. So um, I was like, okay, if I have to do an internship anyways, I want to go abroad and um, it's possible to do it abroad. And since I've only been to Japan for like a month and like some visit I went for my friends for a long time, um, I wanted, I applied just for the Chamber of Commerce and like, okay, let's see how it goes. Otherwise I might do like one in Germany, but I got accepted. So I went to Japan again and did my internship. <laughs> yeah. Was it hard for you? I think I just came, it was half a year. So I came in uh, like late September. Like I was supposed to start working in October, but they wanted me to come a few weeks earlier. So I started in September and like fall is the busiest season. So like some days I would work from like 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, because we had delegations coming, there were events, there were like your normal desk work. Um, and then I had to write uh, like uh, something for the Finnish government, like a report, like 120 pages in my free time, which I didn't have. Uh, but then like after Christmas, it was a lot more relaxed. I had time, I got, I have had great teammates. So it was a nice time, but I mean, they have like interns from like uh, fall to spring and then from spring to fall and those that start in spring have it a lot easier. Uh, did you use German language in, a, in your 
in Japanese? I, I had German, English, Japanese, I need to speak all of it. Wow. Yeah. So after that, you came to Japan as a student. Yeah. How was your student life? Um, so I went to Keio University while I was in Japan. <laughs> Uh, mainly because so I was studying economics in Germany and um, I mean there are like many options where you could go and Keio University which we also had an agreement with they have a they call, program called TCP program which is like an economics program like global economics program so um, Keio was like the only university where I could just study what I want kind of I mean like first thing is like economics and then uh, I could choose the classes I wanted to join which was important for me if I go abroad, I kind of... Like Germany is very like strict curricula, you don't have so many options. So I wanted to take the time and uh, study what I want, which university w should be about, right? Mm. Yeah, that's why I chose Keio. So I went to Keio University, it's a great time. Um, I think because I was um, in like the last final year, so like everyone's doing the shukatsu and whatnot. Um, I think Japanese students were a bit more lazy in class than like abroad <laughs> mm -hmm. but I mean like they have other priorities and also like classes are a lot easier to pass like in Germany if you don't attend classes or if you sleep in class I mean like first your teacher would probably beat you up if you fall asleep <laughs> second thing is you probably won't pass the exams but in Japan it was kind of normal so like during those like international classes where we had Japanese students and foreign students um, or just Japanese classes we had like our professor and he would give like a contract mm -hmm. like a keiakusho you had to sign every mm -hmm. at the beginning of every class and I mean like obviously like oh we have a test this and that and some rules and whatever and one one of the points was basically if you fall asleep before the first 40 minutes during class um, it's gonna be uh, how do you say like you won't get the attendance it's gonna be keseki so and then <laughs> you look around and it's like 40 minutes and like slowly everyone's going <laughs> it was quite surprising <laughs> yeah right in Japanese university, it's not so difficult to graduate. I think the focus is more on getting in, and then you already have the qualifications. And then, like university is like your, I said, like you is like your time to experience and express yourself. And then the last two years are already consumed by shukatsu more than like your studies. Which, I mean, it's good that you have a like secure way to get a job right out of uni. But it's also a bit sad because like you're not focusing on your studies at all. <laughs> While abroad, I wouldn't say it's easier to get into university, but also like university, the fees are free. So in Germany, you don't pay for university. But in contrast, you have to prove that you're worth of being in university because like the state pays for it. So like the exams are a lot harder, I think. Um, it's a public school, public university. I think like Germany, we have like less than 1% private universities like almost all are in your country so university students study very seriously uh, most of them <laughs> oh. it was nice i mean like for me like half of my year was uh, with corona so like my, after first semester everything was online um, so like also there was like no graduation ceremony at least not for me but also because i came in summer and i finished in summer so that's also a thing because like abroad like in uh, europe university starts in summer so you start like one a different semester um, it was nice i had nice people to study with and also we really like that you had um, so many people from all around the world in those international classes which like compared to other like Japanese universities I think they have like a international program and they group like the foreigners together to study about Japan or like Japanese language classes mm -hmm. but I think at Keio there was more inclusivity of like all groups mm -hmm. like Japanese students and foreign students it's really nice thank you for your time thank you yeah see you in the next video see you guys